So the Celebration of Lyra event has returned. Unfortunately this year the event is mainly cosmetics and you can make a few bob here and there, especially as a new player it can help a little with character progression. So let's go over this event and the quick method to get as much of the currency of it as possible. I'll show you how you can get a hundred of these professional fireworks just within like 10 minutes of grinding. That's 89,000 Astro Diamonds and otherwise easily within one hour get you any of the rewards within this event. However, it's not as straightforward as you might think. It's not just a daily quest this event. So before we get started, I'd like to give a special thank you to all of these channel members for the continued support. Now, like most events, you'll have to go to Protector's Enclave and to the main square here, where you'll speak to your NPC, your disciple of Lyra. You talk to her about the Lyra celebration and you pick up that quest, which just requires you to collect fireworks from crates in Protector's Enclave. And what she means is these crates just here. You will go interact with the crate and then you'll see you'll gain a professional firework. And you can do this a total of five times and you can see each time we'll gather a firework in our inventory. Once you've gone and got your five, you can see them there, you need to go just place them on the stage. We head back, hop up and interact and there's our fireworks placed. What you will then do is speak back and in that Thank question you, you can see we get 30 lira favor. And to see what rewards we can get from this event, Thank you can you spend know. those tokens for example on a cosmetic pig or this starry sphere. And new this year, we have this celestial boar, and all three of those are mounts. You will see when you interact with the NPC, her store, and you can spend those tokens on all sorts of different items. Now, again, unfortunately, the majority of this event is just cosmetics. You can see a bunch of them there, the captain's set, and then you have the starry set, and you can even get the hat then as like a helmet to go with your armor. I don't like how it just removes your hair. I think that's a bit sloppy in terms of fashion creation. Here's our new celestial bear. Nothing special at all. It is a blue mount and you could pick up three of these during this event. We do have also new this year this celestial cub, which is just a simple vanity pet of the celestial bear, I assume. However, new players can pick up this joy dancer, specifically new healers. It will help you out a little bit. Unfortunately, they did change of how it was originally. It will give outgoing healing, incoming healing and control resistance. That might help out a little bit to stop you from getting knocked about and stunned and dazed for reducing that duration, but really not by much and I'd really like to go into the effectiveness of that. Otherwise, you can pick up these bells for your companions, some emotes. In my opinion, these bells are not worth it at all, unless you do not have the hawk, the forger's box, and then your third slot, you want like a health potion. You can pick up barbecued meat, but again, it's only really good for potentially tanks, removing harmful effects and just healing you for a little bit. And this food I would take as a tank or I would take it as potentially your heal potions instead. You have to be doing a lot of grinding for this. It's 15 tokens for one piece. That's just pretty expensive. Otherwise a die pack if you don't already have all those dies. And then most importantly these fireworks. And what you will use these fireworks is to essentially help you and your party members obtain more fireworks. Now what do I mean by this? Well when you go and buy these fireworks and even if you go and read the tooltips you can see that for example the spectacular one will give two stacks of Lyra's inspiration and this is very important because those fireworks will give you this buff. You can see Lyra's night fireworks and we have times four. And that is because people have been using those fireworks within my vicinity near enough to me generous enough to just be casting those. But what that means is that you can go to any old zone and when you go to let's say kill these enemies you will get firework drops. And you can see he drops us some fireworks and we get five of them. And that is because we would normally obtain one and then we gain one extra for each buff we have. We have four buffs and you can see by the tooltip of the buff that you can get up to a maximum of five. Meaning every drop you could obtain six fireworks. And this means it makes it dead easy to get an absolute ton of those fireworks. And we'll head back and we'll show you what those fireworks can give you. But again, there we get another five fireworks. Ideally, again, you'll have this buff at a maximum of five and you gain that 
by again sharing those Alira fireworks in a party. So we have a total of 15 of those fireworks now and when we go to the stage we can go and donate them. And you can see that on the tooltip of donating them you can place 10 fireworks for two favor. You can see that there. You will also get more of those fireworks in return for doing that. And completing that quest every day will give you an additional 30 favor. But again, the best way for this event to get the maximum amount of that favor is getting these firework buffs to a maximum of five and then just going around killing enemies and it's about a 10% drop rate or so that you get those fireworks to drop for you. Again, we only get four because we only have three of those buffs. So you go and you use those fireworks then when you're near enough to your party member and you can see the buff bar there, how many of those fireworks you've used. So once you have that times five Lira's night buff, you need to go to your favorite zone and just go slaughter as many enemies as you can trying to get as many of those fireworks as you can you can see we get six per drop again that's because of our times five buff and again every five fireworks is a lira's favor again you can go the lazy route and just buy all those fireworks from the auction house and you could go the farming route and sell those fireworks on the auction house people will readily buy them to be able to buy those rewards without having to do much farming but since i spent five fireworks to get my times five buff with somebody else i need to ideally get a total of 25 of those fireworks here before my buffs are out to make up for that and once your 10 minutes are up and your buffs have expired you see how many you got and we got 110 which isn't so bad we can head back and we can place 100 for 20 lira favor there we go place 10 for two and that's all of mine used up and we have a bunch of favor and that's essentially how you grind out this favor and we can easily get all of these things within just an hour of grinding no bother since you get about 20 per 10 minutes so in an hour you'll have at least 120 of course that will be dependent on where you're farming enemies and then do you have enough enemies there to kill I just simply put in chat that I'm looking for one more for a fireworks share times five of Lyra's fireworks. You might get a few people who plus up to you. So you need to go move to each other's instance. And once you're together, go ahead and use your fireworks. And you can see every time I use one, everybody else in my party gets those buffs. Once everybody's got their times five buffs, you go and head off to go kill your enemies. Personally, I like to go to Avernus as I can farm for some of those hunts. Some of the gear is still pretty unique. It's got some cool visuals. But keep in mind, you might have other people in competition and you might want to go to a less populated area to get these fireworks. So overall, that's the entirety of this event and how to farm that currency. You can easily get within an hour enough to get all the currency you need for any of those top rewards. You can, of course, to make a thing and sell those fireworks. People will want them for having the ability to just sit, skip this grind. You can see 100 is selling for 89,000 astral diamonds. That isn't bad profits in terms of AD for a new player. So with that said, again, I'd like to give a special thank you to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.